showing the things that I have done to my scooter so far. When I bought this particular scooter, I didn't really think that I was going to be doing a lot of uh, modifications to it, but it turns out there's quite a few things that you can do. So I'm gonna go through what I've done so far and give you a rating on kind of what I think they're worth. Also on the video, I'll post an approximate cost because some of this stuff varies from month to month. For instance, the heated grips are 20 bucks cheaper than what I bought them for, but you know, it's the middle of summer right now, so kind of makes sense, I guess. And uh, a link to other videos that I've done if I have another video on those. So let's just start out. I've got almost 600 miles on the scooter. I bought it in October of last year. So 2020, of course, you know, we're in the middle of the pandemic. Um, I didn't really start riding until March. And I honestly haven't ridden a whole lot right now because the last couple of months have been, uh, you know, triple digits here. And so riding has been a little limited. So when you don't ride, you put stuff on your scooter. So that's what we did. So let's first start off with the GV windscreen. This is the first piece that I bought. This is the Touring model. Um, if I remember correctly, it's about 140-ish dollars American. Um, I think they make a smoked version of this as well. Um, you know, you'll just have to decide what you want. Um, I've got a video installing it. And a rating of one to 10, I definitely give the windscreen a 10. Uh, my wife, who's the passenger, gives it a 10. Um, she hated the little one that came stock on it, as did I. I know a lot of people like that. Remember, I'm 5'11". Um, not that that matters, but I do sit higher than, say, somebody 5'7", and might be able to do well with that smaller screen. Um, personally, I think they throw those screens on for looks and uh, not necessarily functionality. Okay, moving on to the next piece is the uh, Shad top case. I did the uh, 58X. I have a video on the installation and there's no sound on that video. It was just a point and do video. A lot of people didn't like that. I'm sorry, I just thought I would try it. I had my uh, gas heater running out here in the garage, my propane heater, and it's so noisy that uh, it was either freeze or not talk. So I chose to stay warm and not talk. Later I learned the beauty of doing voiceovers. But anyway, so um, price on this thing varies um, based on the unit you buy. Shad is not cheap. GV is not cheap. Um, but I'm going to say that those two brands are definitely worth the money. Um, I've bought them cheap before and they definitely are cheap. So um, this one's really nice. It's got the uh, passenger backrest here and just a little top rest. Um, this one is the expanding one. I'll grab the key here and show you. Um, I think it looks very nice on here. And uh, it's got a nice uh, key system. And right now I have it fully expanded to its maximum capacity, which is 58 liters. Um, you can easily put two full, full face helmets in here. Right now I got my half helmets, paddle ball set, or paddle pickleball set, sorry, and a couple of hats. Anyway, that's it. You can't really tell in the video, but this is nice thick, heavy plastic. It's not cheap by any means. The mounting bracket, which is in the video, you can see it down there. That's pretty customized, or not customized, it's pretty standard. Um, you know, you basically either buy a GV or a Shad, and, uh, and then the trunks that they make, any of them will fit. On a one to 10 on that, I'm gonna give it also a 10. Um, yes, it was pricey, as I said, but uh, it's very nice. It doesn't rattle around, it's not loose. 
Um, we take it grocery shopping and it works great. Okay, next up, I believe I did the, uh, I'm kind of doing this in order, I guess. I did the Weston Ink Reflective Stickers. You can see I've got them on here. Uh, super easy to put on. Um, again, I'll put the link in. Price varies depending on what you get and what the size is. They have multiple sizes, so I uh, measured, you know, my spaces that I want to put them on, that I wanted to put them on. And um, these are the reflective ones, and they do a pretty good job of being reflective. Um, I like them a lot. Um, they have all kinds of designs, patterns, colors, like the flames that I got, they had like 15 different colors. Um, so you can really personalize your ride the way you want it. Orange just happens to be one of my favorite colors, and it, I always think orange and blue look good together, so I went with orange. Um, next up is my rim tape. Oh, and my rating on the stickers, I don't know, eight or nine, 10. Um, they're stickers, but they're, they seem to be durable and good quality, so. Okay, rim tape, uh, the Custom Tailor 33s. I did get mine off of Amazon, but you can buy them off of their website at the same price, about $33. Um, these things are super reflective, super easy to put on, um, and I really, really like them. I'm gonna get some for my Vespa over there, and I'm gonna get some and put on my little uh, electric mopeds here. Um, they make them in all sizes. Just note that they do not have, at least not on Amazon or their website, a 15 inch front wheel, 13 inch rear wheel for the Suzuki Bergman combination. So I ended up buying two sets, two, uh, a 13, 13 and um, a 15, 13 or 15, 14. So I have a spare that won't go on anything that I have. Um, Something I thought of later was maybe emailing them or calling them and seeing if they would sell you a 13, 15 set. So one out of 10 on the rating on those babies, solid 10. They're extremely um, reflective and they look really sharp on there, I think. Okay, coming up next was the uh, Oxford heated grips. Now I do have a video on, on my, um, channel that shows me trying to install the Suzuki Bergman ones and if you watch that video you'll notice I stopped halfway through because mine were defective and it was too much of a hassle so I bought these I think I paid $74 for them I noticed today when I was looking up the link that they're $59 um, super easy to put on um, that video that I have posted does show pretty much everything you're going to do other than you have to pull the uh, old grip off the throttle assembly on this one, whereas the um, the Suzuki ones had a had a, a, a new throttle uh, sleeve, and, and they of course hooked up differently. This one goes directly to the battery, which the battery is in this compartment here, and super easy to get to to put them in. And um, I've used them several times already. I like them. I did have the control box here mounted up on the top here where my, uh, uh, this piece here for the, my next upgrade needed to be here, so I moved it down here for now. I'm okay where it's at. Um, obviously, it's not pretty. I might go back in and adjust it a little bit, but haven't had a chance to yet. So uh, one out of 10 rating on those, I'm gonna give those um, probably a 10 as well. Man, everything's getting a 10 right now. Um, they work really well. They can get super hot, so you gotta be careful. I took this on one of our club rides and it started to snow on us. And uh, everybody came over when we stopped and would put their hands on my uh, grips to get them warmed back up because they were freezing. Okay, next up um, is this um, cross bar here. You can see it connects to um, the brake fluid reservoir here and over here. And then it has this fat rod that goes across. You can mount, obviously what I have here is cup holders. 
Um, you can mount a GPS, a phone bracket, you can mount any of that kind of stuff. Um, it does block my speedometer, the zero to 10 miles an hour. Can't really see the 10 very well when you're riding. Everything else is pretty visible. Kind of helps block that stupid eco light that we have. Um, so I guess that's a plus. Um, I put the cup holders on there and no, I don't drink and drive, but there are times when we're at a rally or a, or a group ride and we bought a big drink or a coffee or something and we don't want to throw it away. Um, we want to bring it home with us or go to the next stop. Um, it works really well. I've only used it a couple of times. I'm going to give this one between a 1 and a 10, probably an 8. Um, I think it's slightly pricey. I think it was around 129 bucks, not counting the drink holders. Um, and just because it kind of blocks my view and it's kind of an oddball looking thing there. I don't know if I'll keep that on there or not. That's just uh, something to, to tinker with and play with and see. Um, I found this in my stash of, of supplies. This is one of those um, throttle buddy things to you rest your hand on it to help kind of take some pressure off your hand. I just barely put that on there. I'm still tinkering with it. Uh, one to ten, I probably give that a five. Um, I'm constantly adjusting it to try to find the right angle in which to have it on. It's probably why I took it off my last scooter and put it in the box because I didn't particularly care for it. But anyway, I'm sure there's some people out there who love these things. This one is called a a cramp buster, and I know there there's other brands out there. But you know, maybe if there's some tricks to those, you know, leave me a comment on it. Okay, my last upgrade that I've done, um, it was kind of a surprise upgrade. I got suckered in flipping through Facebook on stuff and I got this airflow seat cover. Um, and from a one to 10 rating, I give this thing like an 11. This thing is awesome. It's super stretchy, super easy to put on, um, fits perfectly. At least I, you know, I think it does. Um, you know, it's uh, got a couple of uh, Velcro straps underneath, but you can see that it's it's on there pretty well. Um, when you have a seat that size, they get extremely hot. And I know we don't ride in shorts, right? But when we go over to play pickleball, and it's a block or two away from the house, we ride in shorts. Don't call the police, please. Um, but this thing, it's, it looks like it might be kind of rough, you know, but it's not. It's, it's comfortable on the bare leg. Um, I had this sitting outside in 105 degree heat and I went and sat on it and moved it back into the garage. I was testing to see how it did. It was warm. It wasn't hot, it was warm. So it's a big deal. Um, it's got these little uh, holes, holes in it to let water pass through so your butt stays dry, supposedly in rain. I haven't had a chance to try that out. This thing was like 79 bucks, totally worth it. You know, like my Vespa over here has got this custom-made one from Cheeky Seats. Um, they don't make stuff like that for these Bergmans. It's hard to find anything. I did have a cool-ass uh, cover for my old Bergman and for my uh, Vespa. You know, this, they're cool too. They work. You can't ride with them on. It's just like a giant shower cap that you put on over your seat when you stop. This I never have to take off. It's just there, ready to roll. So that's kind of all of my upgrades at this particular point in time. Something that I'm thinking about getting is I've noticed that there's some um, little um, pads that you can put down through here on these parts to help keep them so you don't scuff them up with your shoes. You can see I'm starting to get some scratches right here and right here. And the ones that I've seen have kind of a uh, a pattern like this, the carbon fiber look. So I might do that next. Um, I don't know, uh, I'm kind of running out of things that I really can do. 
if anybody's got any great ideas that makes their writing better, um, post them in the comments and uh, I'll take a look at them. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, I will post again. Thank you.